welcome to java forum now i am going to show you uh, how to enable nested virtualization using windows 11 pro in vmware workstation pro 17 so before we start the nested virtualization we need to check a uh, few things first i am going to system information so here you can see that uh, i am doing nested virtualization in latest uh, windows 10 operating system which is a host machine so and these four features should be enabled hyper v features especially second level address translation extension should be enabled for nested virtualization and i'm using 13th generation intel processor with 24 cores next uh, second step i am showing uh, what are the windows features i have enabled and disabled So these are the windows uh, features i have enabled and disabled so i have disabled virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform especially because it will prevent uh, nested virtualization so i have disabled virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform so if you have docker install means please disable the docker temporarily then you proceed with the nested virtualization because it will block the nested virtualization Okay, now let us come to VMware Workstation 17 Pro. So here I have already installed Windows 11 Virtual Machine. So it has 8 GB RAM and CPU cores, uh, it has 8 CPU cores. Okay, uh, now uh, important step is I am enabling nested virtualization by checking virtualize Intel VT-X slash EPT. So next uh, DVD ISO file, I need Windows 11 DVD ISO file. So that's all about this uh, settings. So I have enabled the uh, nested virtualization by checking the Intel VTI-X option. Okay. So I have started the Windows 11 uh, virtual machine. So you can see that uh, ISO files and VMware binaries are there. So I am going to copy the ISO binaries uh, to uh, Windows 11 using drag and drop. So now I am going to install VMware Workstation Player 17. Yes, so let me install VMware Player now. Accept the license agreement. So I am not going to participate any programs and check it. That's it. Install. So VMware uh, Workstation Player installation successful. Now let us install uh, one virtual machine. So I am going to install Linux uh, virtual machine. So I am going to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 operating system. So because it is a lightweight operating system, so it does not consume uh, more memory. So uh, especially processor, uh, especially graphics, it does not consume more memory. Okay, for that reason, I have chosen Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. So processor uh, CPU core count I am increasing. Next, I am browsing the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 DVD ISO file while creating the virtual machine. So 2 GB RAM and uh, allocated processor uh, CPU core, 4 CPU cores. Okay, and, and network adapter will be host only adapter. So these are the settings for uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 virtual machine uh, to be installed in VMware Session Player. Now let us start the installation. So installation steps is uh, same like as before uh, we done. Uh, so software selection will be server with guy, provide the root password, that's it. And begin the ins installation. That's it. So installation completed and this is the final uh, step. Yes. So 
finally we have installed red hat enterprise linux 9 virtual machine inside the windows 11 virtual machine so nested virtualization is achieved in windows 11 finally so make sure that you have enough uh, cpu cores hard disk space uh, memory especially memory uh, then only you should proceed to nested virtualization because nested virtualization will degrade your hardware performance and your hypervisor may be get hanged okay so you can see that nested virtualization is achieved in windows 11 finally using vmr workstation pro 17 so let me execute some commands so i can able to execute commands inside the virtual machine which is running in windows 11 virtual, uh, virtual machine so make sure that uh, all the parameters are satisfied and docker is disabled to enable uh, nested virtualization in vmware version pro 